reading out of your testament, Mary Fritz? Oh, okay. You just want to hear me talk. Doesn't matter what I say, I guess. No. You just no. want to hear my croaky voice. <laughs> That's considered sexy, by the way, in case you didn't know. If I painted outdoors, I started to cry. I couldn't do it. I just drowned in tears. Oh, I was hopeless. Well, what was, why was you in tears? Well, it was all so much. It was all so wonderful. And I couldn't cope with that. You have to be part of the thing that you're painting, just like you have to be part of anything that you write. It has to be. Anybody who says you have to step outside of yourself and pretend that you're not there, that's not true. You have to be part of what you're doing. Every afternoon seemed to be taken up with something. And when I had a free afternoon, I'd go home and Dad had made me a little easel and I could paint. It was such a relief. I had a walk-in cupboard. They built a house and Barbara and I each had a walk-in cupboard. And I used to just get in there, shut the door, where nobody could see me and paint all by myself. It was lovely. I'd paint anything. I was in the kitchen, I'd paint whatever was there. But I just believed the whole world was worth painting. I didn't question what I was doing. I just went at it. Oh, yeah, sure. You don't think that, do you? No. Of course I do. <laughs>